Welcome to another episode of Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and with this channel, I try to bring you guys a variety of different tech-related content. So, if this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. In today's video, we're going to attempt to migrate a unified controller from a CloudKey Gen 1 over to a CloudKey Gen 2 Plus. Okay guys, so in the last video, we did a first look unboxing and basic setup of the CloudKey Gen 2 Plus. Today, we're going to try to migrate this unified controller running version 5.11.46 from the CloudKey Gen 1 over to that CloudKey Gen 2 Plus. Now, as you can see, I'm already signed into that unified controller on the CloudKey Gen 1. I don't have much going on. As you can see, I only have two devices set up in this controller, USG and a switch, a US860 watt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a backup of this controller and then we're going to shut this controller down and get it off the network as we can only have one controller running on the same network at, at a time. And then what we're gonna do is take that backup file. We'll get the new controller plugged in and online and then we'll try to take that backup file and restore it and hopefully everything will restore and we'll have uh, this unified controller running on the new cloud key gen 2 plus so I've not done this before So I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen or how it's going to play out. You might be watching um, A process that may not work. I don't know. Let's find out and let's see what's happening So the first thing we need to do is let's go down to the gear icon which is the settings in the lower left hand corner of the screen and let's come on up to the backup tab and let's come over to the backup and restore section. And I'm just going to do a settings only backup for this particular backup so that I can just bring the settings over to the new cloud key. So we're gonna go ahead and download file. And once this file is downloaded, then we'll switch over to the maintenance tab. And like I said before, we'll shut this uh, cloud key down so that we can remove it from the network. Now that the file has been downloaded successfully, let's click over to the maintenance tab and let's just scroll down and shut the cloud key down. Are you sure you want to shut down this cloud key? Confirm. We'll click that. And while this device is shutting down, let me pause the video. I'll wait for the light to go out. I'll unplug it and then I'll fire up the cloud key Gen 2 Plus and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus is online. I'm at the admin page. It has the same IP address as the Cloud Key Gen 1, and I did that purposely, knowing that I would be doing a migration. I just figured it would make everything flow a lot smoother, uh, including any firewall or port forwarding rules that you may have set up. That being said, let's go ahead and select Unify Network and click on Setup. And now it brings us to the wizard page, but what we want is restore setup from a backup. So let's click on that. And we can restore from local backups or alternatively, we can upload a backup file. So let's click on that and navigate to our backup file and say open. And we're getting an error message here. It says the file that we're trying to load is from a newer version of the Unify controller and cannot be used with this controller. Hmm. I told you guys you might be um, viewing a process that might not work. Again, I have not done this before, so let's do a little investigation. Let's close out of here. So I guess the last update I did on the Cloud Gen Key 1, updating the controller to 5.11.46 was probably not a good move. Let's see what version of the controller this Cloud Key is running. So let's go into Manage Cloud Key. Okay, and let's go over to Controllers, take a look. Ah, okay, I don't know if you can see it here, we're running version. 5.11.39 so yeah it's it's one version older than what i'm bringing over from the cloud key gen 1. so let's see if there's a way to update this let's go over to here 
settings it just says restore unify from network backup let's come over to settings let's go to firmware and it's only giving the firmware version for the cloud key and it says it's up to date i can't even check for a new version because that is the latest however we do have an option to update manually now typically when you do a firmware version in the past on the cloud key gen one and i'm assuming it's this way hopefully it's this way on the cloud key gen two it might be my workaround i'm not sure i'm going to try it and see what happens when you do the firmware update on the cloud key typically it'll update the cloud keys firmware and also the version of the unified controller now since this firmware is up to date i'm going to go out on a limb here and try to update it manually using the same version version 1.1.0 and i'm hoping it's smart enough I'm, i got my fingers crossed that it's smart enough when it does that version it'll also see that the controller's behind and maybe update the controller and then if it does that i should be good to go to use my backup so let's see what happens so i guess the first thing i need to do is open up a new tab and get out to ubnt.com and let's go to downloads let's come over to unify and let's come over to unify cloud key gen 2 let's click on cloud key gen 2 plus because that's what we're working with and here we go unify cloud key gen 2 plus firmware version 1.1.0 let's download that accept and we're going to download the file and now the file has been successfully downloaded so we'll close this tab we'll jump back into the cloud key we're going to click on update manually and keep our fingers crossed let's see what happens upload a file and it should be in here here it is right here we'll click open and now we'll click next and it says it's updating the firmware Update complete firmware update finished. Your device will now reboot. Let's see what happens, guys. If this doesn't work, I guess what I'm going to have to do is go back to the Cloud Key Gen 1 and see if I can download um, a backup from one of the auto backups off of the SD card. And we'll try that. But let's see what happens with this okay the cloud keys back online let's sign in and let's see what version of the unify controller we have let's come up over to controllers and we're still on 5.11.39 so i guess that was a good shot in the dark i had my fingers crossed it didn't work so now we'll revert to uh, plan two, which I'll go back to the original cloud key gen one and grab a backup off the SD card. So let me shut this controller down, get that one back up online, and then I'll meet you back here once I have that other backup file ready to go. Okay, I've retrieved the backup from the SD card on the cloud key gen one. It was dated uh, in early September, and I believe it was version. 5.10.26 so that one was a few versions back but it's older than 5.11.39 so fingers crossed let's try this again and see if we can do the migration and restore from the backup so we'll click on unify network setup we'll come over here and we'll restore setup from backup we're going to alternatively click on upload backup file and here is the auto backup from the SD card. And you can see it's 5.10.26. So let's go ahead and say open and keep our fingers crossed, guys. Restore from backup. Are you sure you want to restore the settings from auto backup 5.10.26? Da 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 da. And I'm going to say confirm and keep my fingers crossed. Okay. 
This is further than we got before. The system is being restored. The controller will be restarted soon. Okay, guys, I'm going to let it run, do its thing. I'll be back. Hopefully the controller will be back up online when I get back to the video. Okay, guys, the looks like the process was successful. That took about three minutes for the restore to take place. The unit rebooted and it's bringing me to the login page and you can see I'm at 5.11.39. Let's sign in and take a look and see if things are working as expected and if the actual restore was successful. Okay, so I'm signed in at the dashboard. It says everything is great, 100%. It's showing me my one switch and it's showing me the USG online. Let's come on over to devices. And there it is showing me the lab can uh, lab um, USG and the lab switch. So, so far it looks good. Let's just take a quick look down at the settings and it imported all of the site settings. Uh, so yeah, it looks like the migration went successfully. So I apologize for the hiccup. Like I said, I didn't know what to expect. I've never done this before. You saw it as I did it guys. And I guess, uh, the hiccup was that the Unify controller on the Cloud Key Gen 1 was a version newer than the Unify controller that was installed on the Cloud Key. And while I was looking for the firm way to update the firmware in the Cloud Key itself for the Unify controller, I did not see it um, a way to update that controller, you know, initially when the controller has, hasn't been set up yet. So uh, that's interesting. The workaround that we tried of going to get the firmware again and hoping that it updated, you know, not only the firmware, but was be smart enough to see that the controller was behind. That didn't work, but it was worth a try. Uh, so the only other option I had, and, and thank God I had auto backups turned on on the uh, Cloud Key Gen 1 on the SD card. So I was able to go back, plan B, grab one of those backups and as you can see the process was successful so in theory if we didn't have that little hiccup along the way it is basically take the old cloud key back up the controller take that backup file go into the new cloud key do a restore and you should be back up online it should be that simple just keep an eye on as what I learned now in this in this process, um, please note the versions of the controllers that you're working with to avoid what you saw happen here. So there you have it, guys. If you like this video, found it helpful, and would like to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. You can help out the channel by remembering to subscribe, give the video a like if you haven't already, and share the video. And Remember to use those Amazon affiliate links down in the video description below. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.